You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, Days of Our Lives fans. It is Belinda from Soap Dirt, and I have got your early edition spoilers for days for Monday, October 30th, all the way through Friday, November 3rd, including Halloween hijinks that are happening in Salem. We're going to dig into all that, but if you haven't already, please reach down, click subscribe so you don't miss any of our updates. Okay, so just real quick, I'm going to tell you super duper fast what's happening Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, just as context for what we're going to see in next week's spoiler. Wednesday, October the 25th, Leo and Dimitri are trying to sneak out of Salem. They got their little ghost outfits. They need to go get that pile of cash. Then they need to creep out. Gabby and Stefan launch into action when they find out what EJ is planning and Kristen pushes back hard on Marlena. Meanwhile, Harris Michaels worries when he finds out what's going on with Ava. Maybe she's going to tell him about the drug deal. Thursday, October 26th, Sarah talks to Constantine, weirdly, about her custody fight with Xander. And of course, Constantine knows that Xander is Victor's real son. So this is very interesting to see what he says about Xander, knowing what he helped Teresa do. Steve pressures Chad. Of course, that's about Stephanie and what his intentions are. And Maggie is furious when she finds out what Xander has done. Thus, the same day, Teresa finds Alex bloody. But Xander and Alex, you know, they do face off again. You know, they did face off again on Monday, but I I just, I didn't see the vibe like that he was going to do something to him. And then there's a picture of him, of Rob Scott Wilson on set. And it was like blood around his abdomen. So if that's the scene they're talking about, that's a really strange place to find blood on his body. Friday, October 27th, Stephanie is startled because her ex is going to show up at her door and that's going to continue over onto Monday. It's Blake Barris back as a new character named Everett, who's her ex-boyfriend. Marlena chews out Brady. She doesn't like what he's planning. And Gabby and Stefan get some leverage over Kristen while Steve tells Kayla he may have caused some problems for Stephanie by confronting Chad. No duh. All right, let's dig into next week then, Monday, October 30th. Nicole Walker finds EJ Demera in a fit of rage. And I'm guessing it has to do with something with Stefan Demera because Stefan and Gabby are very happy on Monday, which means EJ is probably the person that they have annoyed. Marlena worries that one of her patients is unstable. I don't know if this is going to be, you know, <clears throat> someone who's going to commit the upcoming murder or maybe Lee is in therapy with her because we know that Lee Shen is facing some kind of fatal incident very soon. All right. Tuesday, October 31st. It is Halloween in Salem. They're actually doing it on Halloween. Last year, if you remember, we had creepy rapist Charlie Dale back from the grave to encourage his mother to do bad things and Ava was lurking around in that creepy clown suit. I think a couple other people had it on too, but at any rate, I think we're going to get more Halloween action than we had last year. Stephanie and her mom, Kayla Johnson, cast a spell. That's kind of interesting and weird. And Paulina and Abe have a movie night, but things turn terrifying. So I wonder if they're watching a horror movie. Wednesday, November 1st, we've got Marlena finding out something shocking about Lee Shen's past. And that's why I was wondering if he might have been the patient because Marlena and Lee don't really have overlap, but if she's his therapist, that makes sense. And it also makes sense that that's why she'd be the one to find out something about his past. Otherwise, I don't know who would be telling her about Lee's past or why he'd be telling her. So very interested to see what that is. Because again, we know the clock is ticking on Lee Shen's life in Salem. Also on Wednesday, Nicole and EJ announced that they are going to get married but not everybody's a fan of that. So I know Johnny's been pretty supportive and Holly seems supportive. Well, she was because she was looking for her mom to cash in on EJ's money, but maybe Holly isn't thrilled because she's crushing on Johnny. I don't know. Or this could be just random haters or maybe Eric. Eric Brady may not like this. Thursday, November 2nd, speaking of Eric Brady, Eric feels like he needs to address 
these residual feelings that he still has for Nicole Walker. What's interesting about Thursday is another spoiler for the same day that says someone crashes Nicole and EJ's big day at the Demera Mansion. So they're getting married on Thursday. I wonder if Eric will drop by to talk to Nicole. It's very weird. In the Day of Days promo, <clears throat> there's this scene, and it's after, clearly after Nicole has had her car wreck and gives birth and her baby is stolen because, you know, they're redoing that plot. And Eric is holding Nicole in his arms. He's comforting her, and you can see his left hand. He's got his wedding band on because he's going to go ahead and marry Sloan. After I think he finds out Nicole and EJ have gotten married and EJ kind of walks in the door and sees them comforting and holding each other. So obviously this thing is far from done between Eric and Nicole. Also of interest, <clears throat> did you guys notice it looks like to me that Sloan left the real test results in the safe and she took home the fake ones and shredded them. Because remember, EJ started to write on the envelope. He had written like one, two, and was going to write something else when Nicole got onto him and he stopped writing on it. And I saw that Sloan had both the envelopes in her hand and then she laid down the one and they did a close-up shot and it had the one, two on it. Then she walked out with the other and they did a close-up shot when she shredded it and there was nothing written on it. So I think Sloan screwed up, but you know, nobody may look at that envelope for a while. I have a feeling somebody will, but you know. Okay, Friday, November 3rd, Everett catches up with Stephanie Johnson and he's got news. I don't know how long Everett's sticking around, but this new character they've written for Blake Barris is not only Stephanie's ex-boyfriend, but he's Jada Hunter's ex-husband. And he's the reason that she's kind of low-key pushing back on Rafe who wants them to move in together. So clearly it was not a good marriage. And Everett has come back to Salem to try to win over Stephanie. And also in the Day of Days promo, there is a scene that looks like they're out on a date, like they're dressed up and they're in Horton Square. And there's some other scenes with Stephanie telling Chatty he doesn't trust her and he says he doesn't trust Everett. And there's Everett being all smirky. Blake Barris is fun. I'm excited about this. I don't want him to stick around because I don't think, you know, Salem, they're thinning the herd. We know there's more cast cuts coming and, you know, there's such a big cast. So I just don't want them adding people in when they're getting rid of good people that we like. So my two cents. All right. Also on Friday, Wendy is consoling her big brother, Lee Shen. Earlier next week, Gabby asked Lee to help her with something. And <clears throat> he's probably upset about Gabby because we knows he, know he loves her and he's not going to get her back. And he's about to be dead with a knife wound in his back. Um, I had done a video about his death, about whether it was part of the Halloween scene or if it's a real death, as real as death in Salem gets and it is definitely not part of Halloween because this spoiler of Wendy consoling Lee Shen is on Friday the 3rd well after the Halloween episode so it looks like Lee is dead 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 or at least Salem dead Dr. Rolf's not around uh, so I don't know if he's going to get uh, brought back or maybe he'll just be back out of the grave next Halloween to haunt people that might be interesting all right that's all the early edition spoilers I have for you for days please drop your comments below on what you're excited to see next week you're ready to see the wedding of Nicole and EJ the Ejol wedding and do you think Eric's going to be the one to crash it and definitely if you haven't clicked subscribe please do that drop a like if you enjoyed this early edition spoilers check back tomorrow for a full huge roster of all the spoilers you need for next week I've, i'll have like five for every single day there's so much to unpack thanks for coming here and talking days with me every single day this has been belinda from soap dirt thank you for being a loyal listener follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode soap dirt is on all the major podcast platforms including apple podcast Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more. <laughs>